let's move on to the next step where we would be using a login service to validate the user ID and password. We have already created a login service which is very simple Java code. We'll try and understand that and we'll use it to validate the user ID and password and also what we'll do is we'll remove all the old servlet code and from now on we would only be using Spring MVC. What we'll also do is until now we were using localhost colon 8080 slash Spring MVC slash login as the URL for Spring MVC. Now, after this step, we would also change that to localhost colon 8080 slash login because there are no other things to handle the request. So we would change that too. So let's get started with the first thing. Let's use login service to validate the user ID and password. The first disclaimer is because this is one of the first steps, we are not using something called spring auto wiring. If you don't know about spring auto wiring, don't worry about it. We'll learn about it. But in this step, we are not using spring auto wiring. We would directly create the login service. So what I want to do in the login controller is to use the login service. So let's do it the typical way we do in Java. So login service, I want to create an instance of it. How do I do that? Login service, service is equal to new login service. Mm -hmm. Good question. Before we use it, let's see what it's doing. Login service is actually <laughs> almost a dummy kind of a thing. So all that is in here is a validate user method, which returns true if user ID is in 28 minutes and password is dummy. I mean, this is not really valid authentication or anything. All that we are doing here is have something to test it. I mean, the thing is on the login.jsp, we have something called an error message and we have not seen an error message until now. So let's put an error message and the error message is when the ID and password do not match. So that's the validate user. Validate user is a very, very simple method and we want to call that. So we want to give it the user ID and password and check whether the user ID and password entered match whatever is in here. So take a quick look at the login.service and copy the user ID and password because we would be typing them in a couple of times. So let's get started with this. Let's go to the login controller and we already have the service in here created just now. So I'll call, instead of putting it in the user ID and model, I would want to actually call the method service dot validate user, user comma password. So if what will I want to do if it's valid? So if the valid user returns true, what should I do? So actually it's not user any here, it's name. So I'll change it to name. If it's valid user, I would want to send him to where? Welcome page. That's as usual, right? I mean, the same thing that we did earlier. If he's an invalid user, that's basically the else condition for this. If he's an invalid user, what I would want to do is I would want to return him back to the login page. So if it's a valid user, I would want to send him to the welcome page. Ideally, this checks should have been reversed. So I'll say, if not valid user, if the user ID authentication did not pass, then this, then I would not need to have an else as such, because if this condition is satisfied, then it would anyway return it down here. So once the code comes in here, I'm sure that this condition did not succeed. That means the val user is valid and then I can go ahead and show him the welcome page. So now let's see what would happen. Let's quickly type in the name in 28 minutes, be careful with the case, minutes and dummy and do a submit query. And this succeeded, so it went and showed the welcome page. That's very good. Now what happens when it's invalid user ID and password? So uh, dummy two, whatever. It's coming back to the same page, that's good. So it's showing the login page again, but it's not showing the error message. How do I get the error message? So if you look at the login.jsp, there is something called an error message present already. I mean, this was again a result of our first steps on learning the servlets and JSPs. We had the error message in here, but we need to populate it in the controller. So how do I populate it in the controller? How do I communicate between the controller and the view? Think, think, think. It's the, yeah, you're right, modal. So I'll put an error message. What's the error message? In valid credentials. Let's see what happens. 
first let's wait up yeah. now it's loaded I can refresh the page it would send the same old request again and now I have invalid credential shown in here so now I have completely started using the uh, login service so we have now started making use of the login service that's our first mini step done so what I would want to do now is I would want to remove all the controller code and I would want to use only spring MVC here on and we also want to change the URL let's quickly do that so what I'll do is I'll delete the JEE -E part I don't like JEE -E -E. don't say that outside okay let's go ahead and delete this okay we are clear of that so that's perfect aha I made a mistake actually I deleted more than what I would need to actually I don't want uh, the login servlet alone I still need the login service because we are making use of it so I'll I did a control Z to undo that and now I deleted only the login controller and the other thing is this login service is in the package in com.in28minutes.jee -E. I would actually uh, I don't I mean I would move it to a package called login so I'm changing it and press control one Eclipse brings up okay please do move and I can close this the other thing which I also want to do is uh, there's a small compilation error in the con login controller I have to organize the imports so control shift O would organize the imports and then you would be able to get the login service from the right package this is because we changed the package so it was uh, JE earlier we changed it to login now that's good and also I would want to change this I mean we don't really need to say spring MVC in the package because all that we have in this application is spring MVC so I'll change this to login package as well so that's good as well so we have everything in the login package now we have a login controller we have a login service so that's very good and I'll also delete these two packages because we don't need them anymore so delete okay that's pretty good that's pretty neat I guess now we have well organized application and the other thing which I would want to do is also change the URL so how do I change the URL that I would use for dispatcher servlet I would need to go to web.xml you're right so it's basically I want to everything I want to give it to the dispatcher servlet so now everything goes to where to the dispatcher servlet so I don't need to type in spring mvc so there was one page we all we were using spring mvc earlier login.jsp let's remove that as well so that now it goes to the login but the login is now a spring mvc what you can do now is now you can go ahead and restart the server and test if it's working fine you would see that it's working perfectly fine in this step we use login service to validate the user id and password it was kind of a dummy validation but it's there now and when a user enters a wrong password it shows error message that's good and also we cleaned up all the old controller code and we change the URL that we would be using to slash login so from now on whenever we type in login where does it go to so when I go to login lo close login you'd see that the request is now handled by the dispatcher servlet that's very good so that's what we wanted and when I entered some value in here and password you would also see that everything is handled now by the spring framework itself so the spring MVC framework is handling all the requests that's exactly what we wanted to have in the next step let's move on to other things